Again, it hasn't cut too bad, considering how wet it is. So number three, you can see where all the, the moss has died over the winter. Because it got um, a good autumn feed after its last cut last season in, the, um, in some iron sulphate, so that's ready to scarify out now. It needs it, it's quite spongy. But it's lovely and green here, look, with, um, with autumn feed. There's the rain on again. It's one of them days, stop, start, lashing down. Um, you know, all the borders with a three prong cultivator, just freshen the ball up just to loosen them up, really, let the drainage in the air because they were compact and soaking. That one over there is drenched, I've just had to do what I can this long here, and then it'll get manicured on the next fortnightly visit if it dries up after Easter. Just got to blow out the front with a dry blower through the garage, and me cup of tea, look, me big biscuits. Oh, he has a rain heavy now. Oh man, <laughs> hey, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep me mushroom about this weather. No good, no good complaining about it. Put up or shut up. Aye, that's nice and green there, look. Lovely. So, hopefully it'll get scarified when my scarifying campaign starts in a couple of weeks' time, <laughs> if it dries up. So that's it looking tidy for Easter, because my next visit's just after Easter. We'll get all manicured up, and by then, hopefully the Virginia creep will be starting to board up on the fence and clothe, clothe the bare fence. Right, it's heavy. I'm. Catch you later. Bye for now.